Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute cord. It can be an alternative to a drawstring, drawstring, instead of doing your chain and single crochet and slip stitching or half double crochet. So yeah, it's a really cute cord. It can be a really cute strap, drawstring, um, whatever. It has a little bit of stretch to it. Well, I'm lying, that's a lot of stretch. But yeah, a lot of stretch to it and it's really, really cute. For this project, you need some scissors. I'm using a 5mm hook, but your hook can be any size you want to. I used weight 4 yarn. This mint color is from Red Heart. This little pastel pink color is from Craft Smart. And this is acrylic weight 4 yarn. So yeah, weight 4 yarn and 5mm hook. But you can use, you can apply what's done in this video and use thicker yarn, thinner yarn, bigger hooks, smaller hooks. Whatever, your hook size and yarn is completely up to you. Make sure you have your scissors. And now let's get into the video. Okay, so to start, we're going to have our two strands of yarn. Put them together and make a slip knot. You can leave a long tail if that's what you're used to doing. But if y'all watched any of my other videos, y'all know I don't really do long tails. You can grab any color to start with. And you're going to chain one, two, three. So you have your chain of three, now we're gonna turn our project and I always work in the back bumps. So we're gonna insert our hook into the back bump, pull through, insert our hook into the first chain space you did in the back bump and pull through. Now you should have three loops on your chain. We're gonna go to our second color. When changing colors, you want to release your hook from two of those three stitches. You're gonna yarn over, you're gonna pull through that first stitch Insert your hook into the second stitch that you let go, pull through, go to the last stitch that you pulled through, and we're going to pull our yarn through. Now you should have these three stitches on there. We're going to switch to our next color on the ends. Every time you get to the end, you switch colors. You release two of the three loops. Make sure you're holding these because since we ended with blue, I can just pull that off. So that's why you want to make sure you're holding those. We're going to pull through that first stitch. Go in that second loop, pull through, go in that first loop, pull through, and you want to switch colors again, release, pull through, go in, pull through, go in, pull through, switch colors, release two, then over, pull through, go in, pull through, Go in, pull through. And you just want to keep doing this until you have your desired amount of rows. So I'm going to finish this off camera and I want to come back once I have how many rows I want. So I can show you how to end this off. Okay, so here I am. I have 22 rows of blue and 22 rows of pink. This is going to be the perfect amount for my next project, which may be my next video. But then again, I might post a different video. But when y'all see this again, just know this is how many I'm using for that project. Let me get this off. Okay, so... Now that I'm at the end, we're gonna wanna grab our opposite color. So the opposite color of the color that you have on your loops. And we're gonna pull through that first loop, yarn over, pull through the two loops on the hook, yarn over, and pull through the two loops on the hook. And we're just gonna chain one to make it extra secure. I'm gonna leave um, a decent bit of a tail. I'm going to tie this off. The tail is to sew it onto the project that I'll be working on. And now you have this. Where you had a, um, you ended this color off. So if you do a short tail, that can easily come off. So we're going to do on this side, insert your hook into that first space. We're going to yarn over and pull through. And then we're going to chain one. And we're going to cut off a decent amount for a tail so we can sew it on our projects and then you can just tie that off i shouldn't have pulled that through like that okay so yeah just tie that off and there you have it that's how you end off your cord these are going to be woven in and i'll use these two to sew it onto my next project but yeah that's how y'all make a um dual color or double color cord 
very easy very simple but yeah thanks for watching my video if you liked it leave a thumbs up if you have questions drop it in the comments i'm always available for assistance or help and yeah that's pretty much it bye